Gallen, thank you so much for joining us here at Super Investor. It's great to have you here and particularly focusing on impact. You've worked in this industry a long time, quarter of a century. And uh, how do you think reputationally impact investing has moved in that time and where are we with it now? Yeah. So thank you very much for having me, first of all. Uh, impact has evolved greatly in my quarter of a century uh, in the industry. Um, the understanding of impact between investors still varies though. So, and that's totally understandable because we're going through a paradigm shift. What's happening is we've trained ourselves, we've built our entire careers focusing on investing for returns, for profit. And we're changing that now to profit with purpose. And that's a completely different way of thinking about how you measure investment success. And we're still somewhere along that journey and we have a long way to go, but we've made a lot of progress. When you say we there, how widespread is that outlook? Um, I was referring to the impact investors, the dedicated impact firms, as well as the large firms that have launched impact products. So anyone who's dedicated a product to impact, whether they're 100% uh, on impact or whether it's something they do along with other things. And how effective do you think both impact and ESG have been about getting the message across that actually you can do both profit and purpose? Uh, that's the heart of the question. Uh, the more case studies there, there are out there in terms of delivering profits and purpose at the same time, the more convinced investors will be. Many of the impact managers out there are still raising their first, second, third, very, very few fourth funds. And as a result, the industry is still new because we measure success in decades in our industry. So as a result, more case studies, more successful funds, more exits and delivering both profit and purpose will help shape the views of the investors. The data will be key for measuring that success, exactly. if you like. Exactly. And exactly. where do you see as specific areas now in terms of impact that you're looking at as exciting and, and where you want to be? What spaces, what sectors? Yeah. So I think the way the industry has evolved and maybe building up to that question, um, in the old days, when I first started my career in the industry, investors would uh, deliver uh, an investment, make a, make a capital commitment and say, deliver me a return. I don't really care what happens on the side. That's the old days when we were just focused on returns. And then we got into the sort of ESG world where it was, here's an investment, deliver me a return, don't do these bad things, please. Or where you do report them and give me some numbers of the, the bad things you've done. And then now we're entering a world where investors are saying, deliver me a return, intentionally do these good things on the side because the planet's problems are getting worse and worse. I want you to develop, investors are saying, I want you to develop your skill set, not just delivering a return, but also addressing some of these problems. Develop yourself a strategy in financial inclusion. Develop a strategy in healthcare access. Develop a strategy in climate solutions whilst you're scaling them, some of these solutions and delivering a return to the investors. And these are the areas, social impact and climate impact are the areas that are really exciting to me. And do you think impact is be becoming you know, more popular, generally not just within the firms, but obviously the end user is, yeah. is desiring and demanding that more? Yeah, well, I mean, at Super Investor, we did have an impact summit today, which was fantastic. So to dedicate a whole day is a really positive development for the industry. Um, is it really fully mainstream yet? Probably not yet. Uh, but of course, that's also very understandable. It's a paradigm shift, as I mentioned. So investors are, are traveling that journey and some are behind, you know, uh, and some are sort of further along the way. Some have set aside buckets and vehicles. But what I can see very clearly is either investors have already a strategy focused on impact investing or they're working on it. They've been asked by the trustees, by the boards, by the CEOs, by the stakeholders. And they're, they're landscaping, they're thinking what to do, developing countries, developed countries, social impact, climate impact. They're putting it all together. So this is all happening. And I guess in terms of the mainstream investing, the old sort of way of investing, a really important point I want to make is everything else we invest in mainstream will be worth a lot less in the future if the industry didn't allocate some capital to climate impact and social impact. You've talked there about paradigm shifts. How much are you seeing in alignment with ESG teams and impact now? Because they've sort of been siloed away from one another yeah. in a way, yeah. haven't they? And they're yeah. coming together now and working much um, more as they're a definitely, They're definitely coming together from a measurement and driving the impact perspective. However, what's really going to make impact investing a success 
is good investors changing where they want to hunt, where they want to invest, which strategies they want to work for. I think that's what's really going to change. So good, solid investors that have delivered their return before are credible in the eyes of their investors. Them dedicating their careers to impact investing is what's going to be driving success in the industry. And realistically, will that demand and that drive be coming from the end user that might be the pensioner who's investing in that pension fund? Absolutely, absolutely. They, and, and they will decide which funds they want to invest into and which ones they don't want to invest into. And ultimately, that's the, that's the customer. And with that in mind, do you expect that to be a generational shift slightly as well? Uh, uh, possibly, uh, possibly. It could be that, I mean, I know very impact focused people uh, at younger generations versus, you know, even in, in, in much more advanced generations as well. Um, and there are examples everywhere. But I think it's a universal truth that the younger the investor, the younger the manager, the younger the CEO, the younger the pension fund manager, the more on average they tend to care about social impact and climate impact. I don't know if you have children, my children certainly care a lot more about these issues than I did when I was their age. So with all of this in mind, do you truly believe that impact is now going to be part of the mainstream and part of the, the, the kind of absolute future proofing of these companies? Absolutely, absolutely. This is an unstoppable trend. And I really hope that the Impact Summit uh, next year at Super Investor will be on the main event and not the summit day. Great to hear your thoughts. Thanks for sharing them with Thank us. Thank you so Great much for you. having me. Thank you very much.